For almost four decades, Canadian Vision Care volunteers have been taking their skills into the developing world. South America, the Caribbean, Africa, and now Southeast Asia. Their first stop on this expedition is a community school where children and their parents waited in Cambodia's relentless heat and humidity for their turn to be examined. Most of these patients have never seen an eye doctor in their lifetime, and many in this crowd are desperately in need of eyeglasses. The Canadian doctors pay their own way and raise money for supplies. They gather donated glasses and give up time in their own clinics in Canada to make a difference in the lives of those less fortunate. Well, they're amazing. So it's a special kind of person that gives up time away from their clinic to come and uh, travel all this way. They pay their way, they donate their time, uh, they put together resources to come bringing eye drops and getting donated glasses from their clinics and sort of gathering their own communities back at home to share in the experience and, and give back to people less fortunate than us in Canada. On this expedition, all of the volunteer eye doctors brought members of their own family to help with the clinics. Children assisted with basic acuity tests, helped with the search for appropriate classes, and helped patients to get to where they needed to be. They overcame extreme heat and humidity and full days with just a short break for lunch. It's a long way from their comfortable lives in Canada. They're good, they're good for me. Mitchell actually wrote an article about what, um, what he would expect about giving and charity and he has flourished along with the other seven children that are here and without them the project was, it was paramount in what they were able to do and helping with every step along the eye exam procedure. He's just, ha is just tickled <laughs> with, with everything he's done. Kids. Helping Kids is now a part of Canadian Vision Care's mission to make quality eye care available to everyone, regardless of their age or where they are born. The second stop on this outreach expedition was in a predominantly Cham region along the Mekong River. It's a tribal area. The eye camp was organized at the local mosque and a community school. Children line up to have their eyes checked and glasses prescribed. Each person that we see uh, a prescription that has been filled and, and the, the light up of their vision to when they receive uh, some eye care is just amazing. To I personally consider it a privilege that uh, first of all we have a set of skills that has such an apparent need and a benefit that you literally can see the difference uh, not only um, in terms of the physical measure of improvement, but also in terms of the elation, the, 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 the thank you, the wow. It really is a powerful why. You know, you give a little, you get a lot. And uh, so uh, that's ultimately uh, puts into perspective all the, uh, the shortcomings or short fused issues or all the things that can happen uh, in the uh, potpourri of uh, all this activity. <laughs> yeah. I'm really grateful for the whole team that has uh, helped and the people in the community that welcome us here so graciously. There's so much culture that we get to appreciate every time we come and I've met friends and uh, amazing people all around the world thanks to these trips. A big part of the success of these outreach clinics is the support Canadian Vision Care volunteers receive at home in their own practices. Donations of used eyeglasses and funds raised to purchase new glasses and equipment. Those are like perfect. Canadian Vision Care's first outreach programs were in Jamaica. Since then, they've taken their skills to Costa Rica, have helped build an eye clinic in an old train in the Philippines. In Africa, Malawi, Canadian Vision Care has helped to build a school of optometry, helping young Africans to become skilled optometrists. Canadian Vision Care volunteer teams have also reached out to communities in Kenya and in Tanzania and now Cambodia. Helping the world to see Canadian Vision Care.